Hey guys, so today I want to talk to you guys about a, a serious issue, um, something that I've been through personally, so I do have an experience with it. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys today about self-harm um, and suicide because it's just, it's such a terrible thing and it is too common in this day and it's, it's a horrible thing, it really is, but we need to get our stories out there and make everyone else aware that it's not okay for this to happen and that it needs to stop. So here's my video with my experience of self-harm and suicide and everything. And um, I'm sorry if I start crying or anything. It's just, it's a really... My nice whole thing. life I had been bullied from like kindergarten up because I was a natural redhead. Um, and I wore glasses and stuff. People thought it was okay to pick on me. And so, I, I just got, you know, every day I would not really want to go to school, but when I was younger, I, you know, I didn't know anything about cutting yourself or wanting to kill yourself, like, as a kid you don't think that, but when I hit about 12 years old, I um, started cutting myself, my parents had split up, um, I hit high school and high school bullying just got worse, I had almost been stabbed at some point, I'd been, you know, jumped a couple of times out on the streets just walking home from school, it was, it's not a life a 12 year old should be living and it was wrong but, you know, I'm 17 now, I only stopped self-harming a couple of months ago, um, you know, I, I used to cut all up my arms, um, on my chest, my stomach, my thighs, Anywhere I could that could be hidden because, you know, people are going to judge you if you've got cuts. So I always wore long sleeve shirts to school or jumpers so people wouldn't judge me. I just, in a way I felt that the, the cutting and the hurt that I could, that I was giving myself, it was the only hurt that I could control at that time. And when everything else was hard, I could just, I could control that. <laughs> um, because I was suffering so much hurt mentally, I would cause myself physical pain because it would just make it easier because I could control that, whereas my mental pain I couldn't. I, so in a way, it, um, it was my coping mechanism to hurt myself. And... A lot of people didn't understand it. I mean, it's really hard trying to explain to people if they do see your cuts and they just call you an attention whore and stuff. It's, it's really hurtful. Um, but you know, that's life. And then when I reached about 15, I um, started having suicidal thoughts of wanting to kill myself and everything. I. Um, I didn't have a plan, I just, I guess I just wanted it all to end. And I think that's the worst because you can't tell anyone. Because they're going to think you're crazy and shit. And it's really, really difficult when all you really want is somebody to ask if you're okay. And hug you and tell you everything's going to be alright. And help you get through that, but you can't. And like me, I can't. I'm not really good socially anyway, so it was really difficult for me to reach out and talk to people. I mean, I had friends, but I couldn't really tell all of them what was going on. Um, I'd suffered sexual assault at school. I had, um, I've suffered, you know, um, somebody I thought to be a friend tried to rape me, and it's really scary when you can't tell anyone about it and you just end up going crazy and breaking down I have had too many breakdowns to count the times I've you know I've cut myself too deep like deeper than I usually would I've contemplated taking pills just to make the pain stop I would just cry myself to sleep and I 
wouldn't be able to get up in the morning. I didn't want to go to school. I got to the point where I was making myself sick so I didn't have to go to school because I was being bullied so badly. I guess the point of this video is to say to those who bully and stuff, why do you have to do it? Why do you have to push somebody so far that they want to kill themselves and hurt themselves? And to those suffering mental illness and everything, I know it's not easy. I know it's not, but I'm in a good place now. I mean, I'm, I'm still recovering and I still fear relapsing, but it, for me, it really got better, and I mean, I know it sounds cliche, but you really just try, talk to people, talk to a counsellor, there's so many different numbers that you could just call and talk to some random without, without any hassle and stuff, you don't have to see them face to face, and you can call them anytime, just don't, don't end your life, because... Why do something like that? that? That's permanent when, you know, it's going to get better as you get older. You're going to get out of high school and, and things are going to brighten up, I guess. You get out of high school like I am. I dropped out of high school because of the bullying and everything. It was just so bad. Um, I mean, for some people that's an option. For some it's not. Just wait it out. Trust me, when you get out of high school, life kind of gets better. I mean, yeah, I still have people picking on me online and shit, but it's just on a computer, and at the end of the day, you can just turn it off. And I turn it off, and I go to bed with my beautiful boyfriend who loves me for who I am, and I go out and hang out with my friends who love me for who I am. At the end of the day, you just gotta keep looking for it. Um, yeah, I did a whole blog post about this on my blog as well, so I'll link that down below if you wanna read that and check that out um but yeah uh, just get help please i've lost people to suicide i've seen there's too many like in the past two years i've seen so many kids commit suicide like just in my state and that's terrifying you know i've seen how it's affect my friends when one of my f well not she i didn't know her but she knew all of my friends and everything, like, all my friends knew her and she committed suicide and they were all so distraught, they still are. And it's been a few months since it happened, they're, they're all so distraught and it's, it's a terrible thing and I wouldn't wish it upon anyone, so please just get help. Yeah, um, I'm sorry if it was so depressing and stuff, I just, I wanted to get that message out there. I love you all, um, have a beautiful day, remember you guys are all gorgeous and you all mean something to someone, have a great day guys, bye.